So, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the term dog tags. Of course, if you have a dog, they probably have a little tag. They're a uh, some sort of registration from the town or maybe a rabies tag from your vet to prove that they've been vaccinated. Um, but dog tags are also <clears throat> the little name tags that military personnel wear around their necks uh, to identify them in the case of an emergency or uh, in case of their, their death or whatever. And uh, so they usually look kind of like this. And we're going to make a dog tag. I'm going to actually probably show you a picture of a military dog tag here, which has way more information. We don't want to put too much of our own personal information on a dog tag project like this, but it's just a cool little thing with your name on it. And uh, it, it'll be just a fun little uh, intro project for you to do. And uh, we may even be able to print some of these for some of you students. So I'm going to go to Tinkercad. Of course, I'm logged into uh, my Google Chrome. So it already knows that I'm here. And when I click on that, yep, there's my name. Beautiful. So I'm going to create a new design. And instead of Bodacious Hango Sango, which is kind of a weird title, I'm going to call it. Mr. Pat, dog, oh, come on, dog tag, okay, and you would put your name there, obviously, okay, um, so step one, we're going to take a box and drag it over here, a uh, couple of things I'm going to do right away, because I know they're going to be sort of being annoying, right down here in the bottom, where it says snap grid, I don't want it to snap. Uh, snapping is almost kind of like like a little magnet uh, 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 pulls your project to all these little uh, squares on the grid. We just don't want that. We want to be able to move our project smoothly as we draw it in and out and change the shape. The other thing I want to do down here is also edit my grid. And I want to turn it from millimeters to inches because, you know, America, right? So I'm going to, uh, as I have this uh, red box here, if I click on these white squares at the bottom, which by the way are called handles, if I click on the handle, then I have these boxes here, okay? Um, one dimension is 1.125, which would be one and an eighth inch, and the other dimension is two inches, flat out, okay? Now, that's obviously way taller, way thicker than my uh, other thing. Uh, we want it to be an eighth of an inch high in decimal. That would be 0.125. And there it is. So there's the basis for my dog tag. All right. Now, before I go doing anything else, uh, you might have noticed in my uh, dog tag example I showed you before, the corners were rounded. Okay. Uh, so let's see, nothing here that's going to help me. If I go from basic shapes here and I drop it down to, oh, let's see, uh, let's see, featured shapes. Yes. Here's my thing called a soft box. You can see the edges are kind of rounded there. So I'm going to bring this guy in. And I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than this guy. I'm going to make it 1.5 inches there. And instead of 2, I'll make it 2.5 inches there. And uh, let's see. If I'm lucky, should just about fit all over. Well, again, my snap grid, for some reason, my snap grid keeps on going on. I really need to turn that guy off to be able to do this well. It's almost easier to see it from the bottom here, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a little, looks like I need to make it a little longer. And what I can do is just kind of grab these guys and pull it out. And you might figure out what I'm trying to do is sort of get this guy so that these rounded edges fit right over my dog tag. And uh, a, a way I can make sure that's perfect, I want to get it somewhat close. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. I click and drag to draw a box around these. By the way, if you're not using your mouse, <laughs> wow, uh, very brave of you. 
Um, yeah, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. I just wanted this guy to turn into a hole. And now you can see that it's kind of shaded around the red there. Okay, so I just turned the, the soft box into a hole. And now if I draw a box around both of them and group it, which this is my group button up here, and then click, now I have rounded edges. Okay, so that's a pretty cool way of doing it. Um, what I might also do is when I've got it like this, draw a box around these guys. And there's a thing called centering or aligning, which is way up here. If I click on that and center it and center it. It looks like it didn't move much. So I guess it didn't make that big of a deal. And there you can kind of see a preview of what's going to happen when I click out here, turn this guy into a hole, and then combine the two into one thing by clicking on group button. Whichever way you do it, as long as you end up with these rounded corners, I'm happy. Okay. So now we're ready to put our names on this. Oh, wait, no, we got to do one more thing. We got to put a uh, hole where the uh, chain can go through our dog tag. So if we go back to our regular basic shapes and grab a cylinder, and I'm just going to grab a cylinder that's a hole. You can tell it's kind of grayish, silverish, almost like a ghost here. And I bring this guy in, you go, whoa, Mr. Pat, that's a big hole. All right. Well, once again, if I click on the handle and I make that 0.125, I make the other one, Oop. 0.125. Now I've got a 1 8 inch hole. And what I want to do is make sure it's right smack dab in the middle. So I'm going to use that align tool again. I kind of previewed over here. It's this guy right here it says align. And align means to line things up or center them. So if I click on this right here, you can see it almost gives me a little preview. It's going to put it right there. Sweet. And then I got to make sure that my hole goes all the way through. If I click on this hole, sometimes you got to click out of it to get out of a line mode. Uh, this little thing that looks like a birthday hat, like a cone, allows me to push the hole through there. And now you can see the hole goes all the way through. I'm going to draw a box around both of those shapes and turn them into one thing. So now I've got a hole and a blank dog tag with rounded edges. All right probably thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe we had to do this much work just to get to this point. Now things should get pretty easy though, all right? Because we got a couple of cheaters. First thing I want to do is I want my words to be on the face of this dog tag. So I'm going to click over here where it says work plane. And I'm going to put my work plane on top of this. And then I'm going to roll down a little bit to text. And I'm going to drag some text in here. It came in upside down for some reason, but there we go. Now, obviously, that text is much too big. If I click on my handles again on the corner, I can make these much smaller. I'm going to make that 0.25 high, and I'll probably make this like 1.75 long. And let's see. That looks like it could fit. Now, I could, again, fiddle about with it, trying to get it to fit on my uh, on my dog tag. or I could just draw a box around both of these guys and align it. And that looks like it's a little close to the hole. I might want to make this just a little bit smaller. So I'll double click on it. Got to make sure that you're just selecting that thing there. Uh, instead of 1.75, let's make that 1.5. See what happens. That's a little better. Okay, and now I'm going to align it again. Make sure that's perfectly centered. And that looks pretty cool. Now you're thinking like, Mr. Pat, what do you want a dog tag with the word text on it for? Look, all I wanted, come on you, was the text to be there. Now I'm going to say, S. Marini. Oh, now look how much longer it is. I guess I'm gonna have to manually, in other words, I'm just gonna grab this and shrink it down a little bit. And then grab it, oop, grab it and drag it over, or I guess drag my dog tag underneath it. I guess I can do either one. If I grab the, the letters, I can move them. If I grab the dog tag, I can move it. Either way, I want them nice and aligned. So I'm going to draw a box around them and align it. Oh, that's pretty close. Nice. Now, uh, you know what? 
I went to a lot of trouble to get that thing lined up and to get that the right size where I wanted it and everything else. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the letters there. You can see it's just those highlighted. And up in the top left corner, there's a thing called duplicate. Now, you can't really tell, but I actually made a copy of those words, the S uh, period Paterini. And uh, see how I dragged it out? There's a whole other set there. It was kind of layered right on top of the other one. Okay. Now, this one, I'm going to change to Griswold MS, as in Griswold. Oh, come on, you. Griswold MS. And there it is, Griswold MS. It's a little big. I might have to shrink this in a little bit instead of 1.834. Maybe I make it 1.75. See what that happens. Eh, it's still a little, actually, I kind of like that. All right. So now I've got these big letters sticking up. Look, gosh, it looks almost like a uh, half inch above my dog tag. What I want is for those letters to be recessed. In other words, to be kind of like, uh, holes inside that tag so that the letters are uh, pushed in from the surface of the tag. So first things first, I'm going to make it into a hole by clicking that. And then I'm going to roll to the side here, click this thing that looks like a party hat and push down. And you can see it's kind of showing me, I can zoom in a little bit right here, how far down it's gone. I don't want to go all the way through. See, if I go the hole all the way through, then I'm going to have a hole all the way through my dog tag. This I do not want. I just want it to go part of the way through. So I'm going to very carefully drag this guy till it looks like it's about halfway through. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to do that with these letters as well. Same thing. Oop, yeah, am I still on those? Yep. Make them a hole. Come over to the side. Grab the little cone, or I call it a birthday party hat. Bring it down to about 0.3 inches. And so now, one more time, I'm going to click and drag a box around the whole thing. I'm going to use my group button up here. And if I double click on it, come on, you. It should, there it is. So those letters are now recessed. And when I print them, they should be a little bit lower than the surface of this dog tag so that you will be able to read your name and the words, uh, word Griswold, Griswold MS, okay? So this is what your dog tag should look like. You should have this eighth inch hole centered. You should have these nice rounded edges on the corner. Nobody wants sharp corners digging into their chest when they wear their dog tag. OK, it should have your first initial uh, and, and last name. Or if you wanted to uh, do your first name and last initial, I would suspect it's probably going to be hard to put both your first and last name in there just because of the number of letters. So pick something. And uh, yeah, uh, once you have it set like this, make sure that you've got it named up here something that has your real name on there. So when you submit it to the teacher, it will um, it will be good, all right? And then I'm gonna show you uh, an example of what it looked like when I printed out the first one. Uh, hopefully that is just about done 3D printing and I can take a picture of it and share that with you, all right? So uh, remember, if you have any questions or problems, just rewind the video and hit pause. And uh, you know, basically being stubborn and not quitting is half of the battle with Tinkercad uh, because you even saw me making some mistakes and things not working quite perfectly. Uh, don't quit, keep going, and uh, pretty soon you'll have this nifty little dog tag. All right, enjoy.